So I'm actually an orthodontist, but I started out at Apple. And at Apple, all you have is an unbelievable experience for your customer. So I actually was in charge of designing what you now experience as the Apple retail workflow. A person would come into the store, they'd be greeted, triaged, and then actually helped out of the store in as quick of a way as possible so that you can actually see more people. We realized really quickly that, guess what? Dental offices run the exact same way as Apple did. All we want to do is get more patients in the front door, all while giving an unforgettable experience. That's what Simplify is all about. So we're really excited about the next product that we have coming out. The world right now is obsessed with voice. It's something that you don't really need to talk to a doctor about anymore. Everybody understands it. You use it on your phone every single day. It's something that people have come to expect. It's funny, we always ask doctors to use two things that really don't go well together, right? We ask them to use a keyboard and a mouse, and gloves. Our hands get really messy. Then we ask them to turn around and actually utilize a keyboard and their software to pull up all of their images, take patient notes, really move through their day-to-day -day operations. Well, this is a problem because either one, they have to stop what they're doing or they actually hire another assistant with our new product. You don't have to do any of that. Alexa, ask my helper to show the PA of number seven. and instantly it's actually shown right there on the screen. Now this is great for two reasons. Not only does it wow your patients, but now you can actually explain on the big screen exactly what's going on with that. So not only can you show images, but you can also take that to the next level and compare images. Alexa, ask my helper to compare the bite wings of number 19. Comparing the bite wings of tooth number 19. So now what you're able to do is you can actually explain to the patient, here, you didn't used to have a dark spot. Well, now you do. This is why we actually have to complete that filling on your tooth. This is why you should pay for this procedure. People are really good at comparing and contrasting. They're absolutely terrible at looking at a single image and picking out differences. This allows you to not only diagnose better yourself, but also you can actually show to the patient exactly what's going on. So you're gonna see an increase in patient acceptance as well which is crazy returns on ROI of this product. A lot of you will also have really cool things like an intraoral camera or maybe even a carry view or you wanna show different types of images as well. Well, usually doing somewhat of a case presentation is time consuming and nobody ever does it. Well, now you can do it in under a couple of seconds. Alexa, ask my helper to show all of number 24. Showing the images for tooth number 24. So now what I just did is I not only showed the PA x-ray of those teeth, but I also showed the intraoral image at the exact same time. Why do you have all of this amazing technology in your office if it's completely siloed off from each other? Now you're doing a case presentation that's on the level of what you would do for a lecture, and you did that in front of your patient. Now the other thing that people might be thinking about is, can I take this to the next level and really work this into the actual imaging software, maybe even capture images? The answer is absolutely yes. So while I'm placing a sensor in somebody's mouth or while I'm across the room thinking about things, I can say things like, Alexa, ask my helper to take a PA of number nine. Capturing the PA of tooth number nine. So this is actually going to start the imaging software, pull up the capture window, highlight number nine, and all you have to do is go outside and hit the button. This is literally the easiest workflow available for hygienists and assistants out there. This will save them so much time and effort. A while back, everybody realized that they wanted to use demonstration videos in their practice. There's so much literature about it being proven to actually help patient acceptance and help patient understanding. The problem was is when I actually wanted to use that software, I had to stop what I was doing, pull up the software, find the individual video that I wanted to actually play, and then open the video. So what happened? Well, nobody used the software. Well, what if it's easy enough to just ask for that actual video and it automatically plays? Well, now you can actually do that. Alexa, ask my helper to show an implant demo. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see it automatically come up on the big screen, and you can actually show the patient exactly what's going on with their treatment and then walk them through accepting that treatment. I think a better question of where do you see voice going is where do you see voice not going? 
It really affects and has the potential to affect everything in your practice life.